It seems like Horizon Zero Dawn DLC is in full production since a ton of motion capture actors are spotted in a motion capture studio. I did a ton of research that I will share in this video. Let me know what you think in the comments down below. And don't forget to hit the like button if you are excited for more Horizon Zero Dawn content. Over on Reddit, no live BR linked to a Instagram picture from Hannah Hoekstra doing a motion capture for something unknown. If you didn't know, this Dutch actress is the face of Aloy. See? Well, three days ago she shared a picture where she's doing motion capture stuff for probably something Horizon Zero Dawn. It's pretty likely. And she is not the only one. Kezia Barros recently posted a picture on Instagram as well wearing a motion capture outfit. If we go over to her website, we see that she did Aloy motion capture for the E3 2016 trailer for the game. So why is she also in a motion capture outfit right now? Is it for something else? I mean, the work she did as Aloy is a year ago. Let's go back to that later. Here we see Amanda Ferre, and I hope I pronounced her name right, and she is the official body of Aloy. So, Hanna Hoekstra is the face of the lead character of Horizon Zero Dawn, Amanda is the body, and Ashley Birch, and she's known for Chloe, for example, from Life is Strange, is the voice of Aloy. Anyway, Amanda was seen in a motion capture outfit on January 24th. Looking at the text of her Instagram photo, it says, quote, Feeling very stylish in a spot of purple today, end quote. Today. So I think that we can be 90% sure that this photo was indeed posted on January 24th. But can we be sure that she is doing Horizon stuff? Well, yes. If we look at the hashtags here, we see hashtag video games, but more interesting is hashtag audio motion studios. This is the studio where the motion capture for Horizon Zero Dawn was done. Guerrilla Games already worked with this studio on motion capture for Killzone 2 and Killzone 3 before Horizon Zero Dawn. And we can verify that this is indeed the Horizon Zero Dawn studio through multiple sources. For example, EMDB. That shows that multiple employees from Audio Motion Studios have worked on Horizon. And we also see a look at Audio Motion Studios in the recently released Horizon Zero Dawn documentary showing the Audio Motion Studios logo on the shirt of Amanda as well. This is when they are about to shoot a trailer for Horizon Zero Dawn. We also see Oxford UK here and the studio is indeed in Oxford. And we can also see that in her Instagram post via her location. So yeah, this means that the body of Aloy was doing motion capture on January 24th. Over on Twitter, Guerrilla Games announced that Horizon Zero Dawn went gold on January 31st. So no way that the things that Amanda was doing on January 24th was for the Horizon Zero Dawn game we have now. This must have been for new stuff like DLC. Already doing stuff for a sequel before the first game is even out makes no sense. Now let's connect the dots with the other two actresses that I showed in the beginning of this video. I mean, if we look at this photo of Kezia Burrows, we see her doing workouts in something that doesn't really look like a motion capture studio, but this is indeed the audio motion studio. If we look at this from Brian Larkin, we also see the white looks of flax. Brian Larkin is the motion capture actor for Rust and shared this picture on Twitter to announce that he was in the game. Sadly, I haven't found a new picture of him in the motion capture studio, meaning that we might not see a prequel to Rust or maybe a standalone DLC with Rust, although he might be hiding himself very well. On the other hand though, we see a lot of Aloy motion capture being done right now, so that also kinda negates the fact that we will see a Rust prequel DLC. Okay, let's go back to the wide looks of Flax. If we look at this audio motion studio tour video, we see, hey, this area is familiar. This is the audio motion studio, sort of change room I think, which by the way also shown in the Horizon Zero Dawn documentary. By the way, if you haven't watched that documentary yet, I put a link down in the description below. You should totally watch it. It gives a nice, really awesome, like behind the scenes look at how Horizon Zero Dawn was made. I will do a video about it as well, but right now I want to focus on this. Because let's be honest, seeing the actresses of Aloy doing new motion capture is pretty interesting. So yeah, Cassia Burrows was in the audio motion studio to 
motion capture new Aloy stuff, but it's Hana Hoekstra as well. I mean, she's not spotted in front of the white looks and flags. But she posted a picture of being at Harold's three days before the motion capture picture and Harold's is a huge warehouse in the UK. So is this coincidence that she was in the UK and then three days later did some motion capture stuff? No, I don't think so. So yes, the conclusion, the body of Aloy, and yeah, it's really weird to talk about the body of Aloy, but it's it's kind of true. I mean, she motion captures the body of Aloy. Anyway, she was working on new Aloy motion capture on January 24th, with the face of Aloy Hannah Hoekstra doing motion capture in the last couple of days. And we of course also have Kezia Burroughs, another body of Aloy, doing motion capture in the same studio a week ago. But for what? I mean, will she be doing a new trailer for this potential DLC that will be shown off at E3? Just like she did last year, I mean, like I said, she made the E3 2016 trailer, she was the motion capture for that. It could be. I think it's certainly interesting that two bodies of Aloy are doing different stuff. And what's up with the other girl on the picture of Hannah Hoekstra? Is she potentially also doing motion capture for new content? On this picture we see Hannah alongside Charlie. Sean Doc Ladd. I mean, she's stacked in the photo. And this is another Dutch actress. She also went to Guerrilla Games recently. Looking at this picture, she posted on her Instagram of Hana with a watcher. And we know that this watcher is in the Guerrilla Games office. So, yeah, I think she's also involved. Is Aloy getting a new friend? As far as I see, Charlie has never done anything for the game yet. So, it could be motion capture for a new character. So what does this all mean? I mean we already know that they are working on a quote expansion to the story end quote. So that they are doing motion capture is not really weird right? Although I still think it's weird that they also use like the girl that they only did one trailer that she is now back in the motion capture studio. Anyway I already discussed this. On the other hand though the wording DLC has never been used. But I think that it's a safe bet that we are indeed talking about DLC right now. I mean, expansion to the story could also be a sequel. That's also an expansion to the story. But with them being in a motion capture studio right now, means that this is potentially for DLC. Also, it seems like this DLC is pretty close. Since I have no real game development knowledge, I did some research on when motion capture is done in a project mostly. Over on IGN, they mentioned that it's part of the third phase of development called production. With only one phase after that called post-production, where all the bugs and other major flaws will be addressed. Meaning that if Guerrilla Games already did motion capture on January 24th, we can be sure that the DLC will arrive rather sooner than later. According to game industry website Gamma Sutra, motion capture in a 14 month development cycle is done between the 4th and the 8th month of development. So we don't know when they started with this expansion to the story, but it does show that they are close to the last phase of production. I can also see that DLC is totally different than making a completely new game since the ton of systems are already in place like the core gameplay and the AI of the machines. If you have some better insights in when motion capture takes place during a game development or a DLC development cycle please let me know in the comments down below because I would love to hear it and maybe we can make more sense out of this news. So yeah, that's the result of my digging for multiple hours to find some interesting Horizon Zero Dawn DLC info. Again, four people have been spotted doing motion capture for the game, two of which are Aloy body motion capture actors and one is the face. The other one is a potential new character. We can be sure that this is for new content because it was created after the game was out and that we might expect it pretty soon. I'm also curious what you think these moves might be. I mean, why are they standing like this? Why is Aloy doing this? Or maybe they're doing motion capture for other characters. Anyway, let me know what you think in the comments down below. I'm super interested. Subscribe for everything Horizon Zero Dawn, including these pretty crazy research videos. Like you if you did. And I will speak to you next time. Thanks a lot for watching and goodbye.